an eye on quiet conditions. The good news for this Monday morning, no weather issues to worry about for today for your morning drive through your evening plans. It is smooth sailing, but just a little bit warmer. As we're heading towards this afternoon, take a live look at the Bond Bridge in our view. Downtown Kansas City on our Capitol Federal Camera this morning. We have clear skies. I think it's going to be a gorgeous sunrise across the area for this Monday morning. Temperatures, as Chris mentioned, a little brisk. Certainly light jackets. You may need that this morning. Some light layers for the kids. They'll likely leave them behind by later this afternoon for afternoon recess. We'll see 59 if you're just stepping out the doorway in DeSoto. 56 in Leavenworth. 60 in Overland Park. Missouri side of the state line just as cool. And crisp this morning with 62 in Liberty and 55 right now in Independence, Missouri. And look at these high temperatures across our area for today. A little warmer, still very nice for this time of year, but again, not quite as cool as we saw over the weekend. We'll see 85 for Lawrence, 83 for St. Joe, 82 here in Kansas City. East side of town, same story, lower 80s overtaking our map as we're heading towards later today. Now, as we're moving through the next three days, a cold front is going to push its way through our area Tuesday and Wednesday. With that front will come the chance of widespread storms and cooler air behind this system. But ahead of it, tomorrow will be the warmest day of the work week with 87 degrees for an afternoon high, a 60% chance of storms. As that main cold front pushes through our area on Wednesday morning, we will see cooler temperatures on Wednesday and a 90% chance of rain as we're heading towards midweek on Wednesday. Now, for tomorrow, I think we're going to see two rounds of storms, one potentially in the morning, the next round during the afternoon and evening hours. And it's the stronger uh, wave that certainly has our attention for this morning that we're expecting as we're heading towards Tuesday night across our area. Take a look at future scan picking up on areas of rain. Again, this is tomorrow morning during the morning commute, something we'll be watching very closely for you about 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. Then that moves out of here. But notice northern Missouri specifically first. This is Tuesday about 7 o'clock. We've got a good line of strong, potentially severe storms we'll be watching over the northern third of our viewing area. And then those storms will drift from north to south across our area. So we do have that risk of severe weather as we're heading towards Tuesday evening. Trenton, Chillicothe, St. Joe through Maryville, but that risk, it pulls all the way down to the I-70 corridor. So there is that potential of strong wind, large hail, Heavy, heavy rain with this storm system as it works through our area by midweek. Now, behind it, look at these high temperatures in the 60s for Thursday and Friday and overnight lows, Chris. We're talking 40s for many of us. So, not just the jackets, but the heavier jackets that we may need for the kids here, specifically as we're heading towards the bus stop on Friday morning and as we're moving into your weekend plans for Saturday morning as well. Here we go, an active week ahead. Over